four forces act on bolt A as shown. Determine the resultant of the forces on the bolt. So if ganitong problem, it would be efficient na hindi na mag-FBD. Like the moment you saw the problem, alam mo na kung paano siya solve So gawin natin ulit yung ginawa natin dati na mag-tabulate sa summation of X tsaka summation of Y. So X tsaka Y. Now dito isulat natin ang mga forces. So, sa force 1 ta, may 150 newtons tayo, tsaka x ang reference point ng angle, meaning cosine to siya, 150 cosine 30 degrees. Tapos, ang y component ng force 1 ta is 150 sine 30 degrees. Now, dito na mag-differ sa force 2. Obviously, ang force niya is 80. Ang question is, ano yung angle niya? If ang reference point natin is starting from x, yung angle na to, would become 90 plus 20 which would become 110 pero if you want to take board exams or, or exams in general na gusto mo mabilis yung pag solve, dapat kita mo agad na yung reference point sa given is y. So instead of using cosine you should use sine. So if y So, if ang reference point mo is ang y-axis, instead of using cosine sa x na component tsaka sine sa y component, magbabaliktad siya. Meaning, since y component ang kanyang reference point, ang x component ta is sine. Pero para malaman natin kung negative ba siya or positive, you have to look for the quadrant. So, ganito ba diba? Quadrant 1, quadrant 2, quadrant 3, tsaka quadrant 4. Sa quadrant 1 ta, x tsaka y ta is positive. Sa quadrant 2 ta, ang x ta is negative, ang y ta is positive. Sa quadrant 3 naman, x and y are both negative. Sa quadrant 4 naman, ang y ta is negative but our x is positive. i-review natin ulit ha. First of all, i-check mo kung anong quadrant nakalocate yung force. So, sa situation natin, nasa quadrant 2 yung force 2. Meaning, yung x niya is negative, tsaka yung y niya is positive. Ito yun. Next mong gawin is kung saan naka-reference yung angle. Since sa y-axis naka-reference yung angle, hindi sa x-axis, baliktad yung sine tsaka cosine. So, if ganito, sa y-axis naka-reference, sine ang x component, tsaka yung y component is cosine. If ganito, nasa x-axis yung reference, balik tayo sa traditional na x is cosine and y is sine. First is check, check nyo yung quadrant for signs if yung x ba or yung y is either positive or negative. Tapos next is check the reference axis. Ulit, if y yung reference axis, magbabaliktad yung sign tsaka cosine. If x yung reference axis, yung standard na x is cosine, y is sign. So, balik na tayo sa problem natin. So, sa force 2 ta, which is 80, and ang reference angle niya is y, meaning this would become negative 80 sine 20 degrees. I-check nyo sa calculators nyo if equal ba yung negative 80 sine 20 tsaka 80 cosine 110. And yes, equal siya. They are both equal to negative 27.36. As I said before, etong method na to, this is a way to lessen the pag-iisip kung anong angle ba ang gagamitin. Kasi if imaginein mo, napakarami ng forces dyan, tas hahanapin mo pa yung different angles if always ka naka-reference sa x-axis. So, balik tayo. So, ang y component ta is, since positive ang quadrant 2, 80 cosine 20. So, sa force 3 ta, since nasa y-axis siya na coordinate exactly, we can use the standard one, which is yung x-axis ang reference point. 110 cosine 270 and 110 sine 270. And now, sa force 4 ta, since x yung reference point, balik ulit tayo sa standard na cosine tsaka sine. Pero the thing is, nasa quadrant 4 siya, meaning yung y niya na component is negative. So, magiging 110 cosine 15 Negative 110 sine 15. Wait, gusto ko siya i-draw ng FBD isa-isa para ma-visualize nyo. Correction pala, 100 pala to. Since papunta dito yung force 1, ang components niya is pa ganito. So, ang X component niya is positive, yung Y component niya is positive ulit. So, sa force 2 naman, 
ang x component niya is negative, ang y component niya is positive. And now, sa force forta, yung x niya pa positive. Yung y niya pa negative. Ito yun. So, balik na tayo sa table natin. Yung summation ng x component natin is equal to 199.13. Yung summation naman ng y natin is 14.29. So, calculate na natin yung resultant. Resultant ta is equal to the square root of summation of x squared plus summation of y squared. So, RR here is equal to 199.65 newtons. The direction of our theta is tangent inverse of the summation of y divided by summation of x and that would be 4.11 degrees so yung resultant force natin is around dito which is 199.65 newtons and ang kanyang angle is based on the x-axis which is 4.11 degrees